In the 80s, there was a movie where an alien comes to Earth to hunt humans for sport. It was made for $150,000 and starred Jack Palance as a badass hero. Wait, what? Believe it or not. From 1980, this is without warning. Right away, just people dying. <laughs> Today. Somewhere deep in the woods, Larry Storch is also killed. Here on Beverly Hills Troop. I never saw it either. Don't worry about it. Just watch a Boy Scout leader get killed. <laughs> Now that you've seen the science part of science fiction, you want to know what the fiction part is? Gary Sinise plays the hot ladies' man role. Um, he's a friend of Tom's, that's all. Look at Tom would not set you up with a geek, you know? This is money in the bank. I'm serious. You I'm think so? Uh... You'll see. Mm, that's cool, Beth. Take your time. That's good. <laughs> so, girl in the swimsuit who ends up being our hero eventually, and Alien Chow, I didn't bother learning the other characters' names, go to the gas station and run into Jack Palance, who explains to them what hunting is. Why? You've never been hunting, have you? No. I don't plan to either. Oh, it's a good sport. As long as you follow the rules. Yeah, well, I don't see it as a sport. I don't think I could ever kill an animal. It depends on the animal and who's doing the hunting. Despite several warnings by Jack Palance, do not go to the lake, you will be murdered horribly. They, of course, go to the lake anyways. Our new couple go for a little walk to get to know each other, and also to let Gary Sinise work his... No, I refuse to pretend that Gary Sinise has sex. But anyways, when they get back, Gary Sinise and the Hot Blonde are gone. So, they go off to look for him. Their van is chased by the little frisbee alien things, and they find a shack with all the dead bodies from the hunter, the hunter's son, Larry Storch, Gary Sinise, and the blonde girl in it. to get to a diner to call the police, but the only one that believes them is Sarge, played by Martin Landau, who's a little lot insane. Yeah, yeah, they attacked our van. Feisty little things, ain't they? Are you two guys in cahoots here, Sarge? Did you pay this guy to come in here and spread your crazy story? Look, I'm warning you! When they start eating on you, don't come to me for help. Because you ain't getting any. Jack Pillen shows up again and is like, of course I know there's an alien. Why do you think I told you to stay away from the lake? Wait, you guys know where the alien's trophy case is? You know what shack he keeps all the bodies in? Let's go and kill the fucker. They plan on laying a trap. But it's there. We're going to leave right now. I think about it if I was you. 
Mitchell. Palance is like, dude, I can handle myself. You guys run. And they're picked up by police. Nope, they're picked up by a police car that Sarge has stolen. And he now thinks that aliens have stolen their bodies. Despite the fact that aliens in this movie can't do that. I don't mean to go back with you, is that right? Yes, please. The man is dying out there. You gotta believe us. Leave a POW, are you kidding? I'm a sergeant. What'd you do? Kill the kids and take over their bodies? What? I think so with the aliens. There's a lot more to this. They run from the alien and hide in an old farmhouse. And do you see the alien a couple times, actually? Uh, this movie is made for $150,000. Which alone would have been a hundredth of the budget of Predator. Which admits they got the idea from this movie. It, but 75000 of that went to Jack, just Jack Palance and Martin Landau's paychecks. So yeah, this movie is made for two hundredths of the budget of Predator seven years earlier. It is so crazy that this movie even exists. Sure, there's not a lot of action or on-screen kills outside of a close-up of these weird frisbee-sucking things, but it's just insanity. Just Martin Landau and Jack Pillins just screaming and acting their fucking asses off. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time. Here's uh, Jack Pillins' best scene. Right now. The only choice we have is where we're going to fight. And if we stand here talking, we're going to lose that choice, too. You don't understand. You don't see. That thing ain't fighting for survival. No, sirree. This ain't like the card said, you know, that this is an invasion. No. That alien, he came down here with the sport. He wants to get himself a few trophies. And you know what? Right now, you and me, we are the prize game. This is crazy. I know it's crazy, but I got the advantage of him. Huh? Huh? What? What is he? I'm hunting him, and he don't know it. Come on!